Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. I'm really excited to share this build we've been doing. So it's been quite a process we've been going through. Most of you know that we took the wheels, took them up to Brian Williams at Kelson Bikes, had him help build the wheels. I got an amazing experience uh, learning how to go through, put these together with White Industry. If you haven't seen these new hubs that White Industry is doing, they're absolutely amazing. They really give you some pop in your bike. Uh, you can tell this bike's pretty, I wouldn't say plain, but you know, classy with just some really cool accent, which is what I really like. We did the green and we did the purple. Step number two, we came to Joe Hill. He is an amazing, amazing bike builder. I wanted somebody that would take their time and really knew all these parts inward and outward to put it together for me and get me on the way. So Joe did that here at Sticks and Stones, uh, board and climb or climbing and boarding or something like that. But he's an amazing bike <laughs> Bikes builder. Bikes and climbing. Bikes and climbing, there you go. <laughs> So if you need a bike built or you have any questions, make sure you get a hold of him and uh, check his website out. But he did an amazing job walking through this. But uh, Joe, do you want to just do a quick, quick walk through with me? So we used the Shimano, correct? Yes, we got Shimano Dura Ace 9000 mechanical Grupo on here. Yeah, and I was going to do electric uh, shifting on this, but as I went and I, I got thinking about the electric versus the mechanical, I just, I mean, I know batteries don't fail very often. I know all those things, but I just decided, you know what? This is so smooth and so amazing. I just went with mechanical. The nice thing is the frame is built to do both. So if I change my other mind, which I've been known to do, we can switch it off and put that on there, right? Yep. That's also actually something that they, they really thought out well. The, the routing is awesome. It just changes out real easy. So it's not a big deal if you change your mind later. Yeah, not a big deal. So we can do that. We put the uh, Cobb saddle on here, and uh, which is awesome. And then uh, Envy, we went with Envy wheels. There's two different sets of Envy wheels that we built out for this bike. They also have the Envy stem. We have the Envy bars with the, the uh, shallow drop on these bars. A lot narrower for me, which is what I wanted. And uh, I think that was just amazing part of this. Now, when I was thinking about brakes, and I'm gonna do a whole segment on the TRP brakes and the reason I went with them, but TRP has made so many amazing advances in brakes. It's just cool as heck. So I'm really excited to, to do a full video on them and talk about them, but we went the TRP brakes and uh, lizard skin wrap just because I like the soft, cushy. They're not as easy to wrap your bars with that stuff. I'm sure Joe can tell you that, but, uh, but very nice stuff to use for the, for the cushion end of it. Um, anything else we're missing on this? I put Continental tires on it for right now. I don't know that they're the lightest tire there is out there, but they're great. I love their tires. I you probably know maybe some lighter ones. I don't know. Well, these they just have an awesome compound. It's really long lasting. It's fast. Yeah. You know, so it's a good tire. Definitely. And we, we actually went with a 25 millimeter on the back, and I can't remember what we put on the front. We did a different size, right? It's a 23. 23. Yep, 23. So we did a 25, 23. Um, and people say that's really the way to go, so we're gonna give it a try, play around with that. And we did an 1128, is that right? Yes. Ended up with 1128 on the back, uh, and a compact crank is what I went with, and um, I think their crank length is... Uh, your usual crank length, I believe, is 172.5, yep. 172.5, so other than that, if you have any questions, let us know, put comments below chat with us about this bike build. This is what's fun, is if you guys get involved in the builds, we got a lot of input from you on what we needed to go with, what to go with, and how to do this. So thanks to everybody who helped on the bike build out there. Joe, thank you. Appreciate you putting the time into this bike and doing everything you did. And uh, Brian Williams, thank you for helping build the wheels. Really appreciate that very much. I, I had a ton of fun putting this together, and I'm gonna go out, ride the bike now, see how it turned out. Talk to you soon. <laughs>